Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be covering Shiba Inu. We're going to be covering the technical analysis so you guys can understand how to make money with Shiba Inu in the short terms. And for the ones that want to invest in Shiba Inu for the long term to become millionaires, we also cover that of where you should be optimally buying in for Shiba Inu, where I think the most optimal price is and how you can also understand it for yourself. We're also gonna be covering the news of Shiba Inu now being accepted as a currency to be used for one of the biggest crypto firms when it comes to consumer payments. So this is huge. Now, as always guys, none of this financial advice, so do take what I've grown of salt, make sure you do your own due diligence and research. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So firstly, for those ones who want to understand how to make money with Shiba Inu in the short term, you know, if you want to trade Shiba Inu in the short term, if you want to swing trade and catch those movements, what should you do? What should you watch out for? So very simple. Now we've given this technical analysis now, and I just want to quickly further kind of solidify for the ones who haven't seen it and for the ones who have watched it, how you should react. Firstly, we have given this zone. Now this zone is very important. So this is the zone from 872 to 1081, obviously ignoring all the zeros. Now, why is this zone important? Essentially, this zone is important because if we can break out of this zone and hold above this zone, we're looking at a breakout for Shiba Inu. Now, this correlates with if you want to make money short term and also if you want to make money long term. But for this part of the video, we're only talking about short term right now. So you guys can see that we had once back in June. So this is just a few days ago, um, you know, where Shiba Inu did actually break out of this zone. Now, it doesn't it's not staying above the zones, hence why we need to the breakout. But also this kind of shows you that people are scared right now for Shiba Inu because it's not fitting of the market environment for Shiba Inu to have a breakout. People are trying to kind of hold it off. So that's why when we see a break above the zone, we're instantly see it go below again. So as you guys can see, broke above 1081 and only for three days. So 25, 26, 27, we were above the zone and then the 28th, we fell below the zone and now we're actually just in the zone. And so this is the zone you got to take advantage of in order to understand how to make money, right? So firstly, we're looking at the zone. Now, what should we expect? Well, the bouncing of the zone is going to be very normal. So what we are going to be seeing right now with this current market condition is not breakout for Shiba Inu yet. Obviously, if we see a break above this and hold above this, that is a different story to be told. But so far in the market condition, we are seeing to be bouncing in this zone. So for the ones who want to understand how to make money with Shiba in the short term, it's understanding how it reacts to demand and supply. So essentially what we're looking at right now is with Shiba Inu going upwards, when they make upward movements, see how it reacts to the 50 MA, see how it reacts at the top of the zone of 1081. And essentially what you want to do then is look for short orders. We're looking at short orders to make where we're shorting towards Right now, what we're looking at is some sort of resistance around this zone, as you guys can see, some sort of resistance around this zone, but most likely going to be at the end, at the bounce, kind of the, the lower end of 872. So what we want to be looking at is a short order all the way down there for around a 19% play. Now, if we continue seeing Shiba Inu go down, bear in mind that it the, it's very likely that it's going to bounce at 872 as well. And so what we then do is obviously vice versa, where we get a long order and obviously we're going upwards movement for around a 24% move. So that's what you should be looking for for short term movement. Now, obviously, if you guys want to go even lower, where we look at kind of the 15 minutes, it's obviously then understanding zones of where you should move. Just like I drew the circle just then. Now, Obviously that circle was a bit of a rough sketch, but you guys can see that during where the zones is showing resistance, it is bouncing in between these zones. Now, for five minutes, for 15 minutes, these movements are kind of really low. You guys can see 3%. Now, obviously, um, if you leverage and such, you can make money. And if you do it with a large enough uh, quantity amount of trades. You guys can also make money if you guys make, you know, over 20 trades, you guys can make money as well. So obviously that is something to be seen. And again, that is quite easy. If you guys do want to see how to make money with the 15 minute time frame, feel free to comment down below. Now let's talk about the long term. Now let's talk about the ones that want to just um, not trade this because they don't, they may be busy with whatever they want to do, or they just want to invest it for the long term and become a millionaire. What should you be expecting? Well, with Shiba Inu, it is at a pretty low point for the coin itself, as you guys can see, if we zoom all the way out, it's at a pretty low point. Now, essentially, you don't have to do anything. 
there is no optimal zone if you want to invest for the long term. If you buy this current price and you go all the way up, that's already 804% and you can go even higher than that. So there is really no optimal zone. Obviously, the lower the better, but it's not about fighting for that one, two, three, four, five percent, you know, range, right? But what should we be looking out for? Firstly, if you guys do want to kind of um, wait for confirmation, if you guys are scared of buying Shiba Inu, right, and you want to wait for confirmation, then again, this correlates to what I was saying with wait for it to break out this zone of 1081. When it does break out, see if it can support 1081, and then that will kind of further and assure you of the breakout for Shiba Inu. Again, these are the ones who are too afraid, or too worried to buy into Shiba Inu right now. They want to see more confirmation. Wait for the breakout, wait for it to kind of actually support the breakout so that it's not a fake out, a fake breakout, and then buy into Shiba Inu. Because again, you know, buying at, obviously there is a difference. Now, obviously, if you look at it already here, there is a 20 point difference. But if you look at, if you're too scared to buy here and you want to see for it, you know, this is only a kind of 18% difference you're giving up in order for you to kind of assure you to actually buy into it. In the grand scheme of things, it really isn't too much, but if you do want to max maximize your profit, obviously you do have to buy in early. Now, you know, going to this news, and this is also for the long-term investors, if you're looking at Shiba Inu. So in a new announcement, Coinbase Commerce, a division of the Nasdaq listed exchange Coinbase Global, revealed that as a part of its global goal to bring together consumers and business in the crypto economy, it's making crypto transaction easier and more accessible we're adding new cryptocurrencies as payment options and shiba inu is one of them now what is it going to do well obviously this is increasing the demand for shiba inu this is showing that there is the real life implementations of shiba inu and all of these things are going to what's cause shiba inu to break out in the future as well for it to actually increase in value so if you want a technical confirmation wait for the breakout if you want a fundamental confirmation all of these firms adopting Shiba Inu is a fundamental confirmation. And if you want the two, then obviously wait for the technical breakout, wait for more news if you want, but then, you know, mix in, in with those two and that will be both sides of the analysis given. And ultimately that is what you should be waiting for when all of these analysis come through, you know, that's how you buy in. Now, bear in mind with more and more fundamental news coming out like this, so with more companies trying to adopting, um, you know, accepting Shiba Inu, with more um, Shiba Inu being burned. The fundamental news is going to push up Shiba Inu. And again, if you guys want to wait and wait, obviously there is that potential of you missing out. You know, more you guys are too worried to buy in now and then maybe fundamental comes in and then it goes up to here. Now, obviously, if it goes up to 1861, it's still a high amount of profit if it goes back to its all-time high. But you've already missed out on the 180% play 100% play, you know, these are the plays that you would potentially be missing out. If you're okay with missing out on those in order to ensure the kind of long-term investment, then feel free to do so. But what I generally find good is with a mix of technical analysis and fundamental analysis. And when those two both meet, I obviously then are happy to buy into it. And right now there is a lot of fundamental news and I'm just waiting for one side of the technical news. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.